Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to set up a graph in science class. Imagine that in science class you did an experiment in which you tested your heart rate in different exercises. You're presented with this information afterwards in a data table and it has the type of exercise and the heart rate of the people who participate in the exercise. You can use the following steps to create a graph in science. First, title your graph. Next, you need to place your data on the correct axis. Next, you will label your X and Y axis and then create consistent scale. And then finally, you'll plot your data onto the graph. So let's work through each one of these steps as we create a graph from this data table. Here's my completed graph. I'll go through each step and show you what I did. First thing I did was I came up with the title for the graph. Let's exercise. The reason I did it first is because a lot of times I've found that my students just forget to title it. So let's go ahead and do it first and get it over with. So I place the dependent variable heart rate on the y-axis and the independent variable, which is the type of exercise, on the x-axis. If you need to review independent and dependent variables, I've created a video and I'll put a link in the show notes. You can use the same dry mix to help you remember which axis the dependent and independent variable goes on. The dry stands for dependent responding are on the y-axis and the mix stands for the manipulative independent variable is on the x-axis. Now that I've determined what the dependent and independent variables are and which axis they need to go on, I next just need to label them. I'll label one heart rate and the other axis type of exercise. The next step is you need to have a consistent scale. What I mean by that is that it needs to go up each time by the same interval. An easy way to determine this is to calculate the range and then divide this by the number of items you have on the x-axis. In this example, I found the range by subtracting the largest number from the smallest, which is 190 minus 90, which was 100, and divided by 4 because I had 4 items on the x-axis. That came up with roughly 25 per interval. The 25 that I calculated is just an estimate. So I decided to use 20 because I thought it worked a little bit easier. The key is, is that the scale is consistent. Notice how I go up by 20 each time. You do not necessarily have to start at zero. You can use this squiggly line and start at any number. But again, notice that the scale is consistent. It goes up by 50 each time. And finally, you just plot the data. For jumping jacks, I go up to 165. For walking, 135. Anyway, you just plot the X and Y from the data table. There you go. That's how to create a graph in science. Hope it helps. And thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.